Did you watch Roseanne? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear it got canceled? Yeah. Do She's you, so dumb. Do you think... So the story is she tweeted something racist or vaguely mm-hmm. racist. Something about... She kind of went on a little rant. A few different tweets. It was something like, you look like a cross between this person and a monkey. I think, right? Is she, that- she she said to a former uh, aide to Obama that she looks like a cross between the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like a terrorist monkey? All right. And that's that's which a, I, which feels like that is Planet of the Apes. That's so, a that's a solid insult. It is. I I I'm sure she took some time, but it kind of felt like it came out of nowhere. I don't know why she was like directing it at that lady. Yeah. But I don't know. Can't yeah. really say things like that and expect no consequences. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who this lady is. I don't know how accurate uh, that is, but. That to me that that doesn't sound all that racist. Does that make me a bad person? Um yes. Okay. I mean, I guess Very. it is. I mean, how accurate is it? Have you seen the picture of this lady? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that any of that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so Roseanne the show got canceled. They yeah. uh, they took it off the air. And when I heard that, and I heard that she had tweeted racist stuff, I didn't. I didn't really look all that deep into what she tweeted. Uh, my opinion, my theory, is they are just looking for a reason to cancel that show. I don't know because it was getting big ratings. It was a was money it? maker, and they had just renewed it for a second season. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I, I, I think that they probably stand to lose. Money? I don't mm. know. I don't really know if they stand to lose money, but like lose a lot of potential earnings yeah. from it. Uh-huh. But at the same time, you risk, I don't know, like a boycott or something like that, which also and, and, and sponsorships, whatnot. So either way, they're probably losing money on it. Yeah. But they went the more uh, safe, safe route. Yeah. With just getting rid of her. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I watched the first couple episodes of Roseanne and it it was not very good. It's it's not great. It it it's watchable to a to a point like I don't know. I love John Goodman. Yeah. But uh yeah, they they just they got renewed for a second season and but they lost their showrunner. Uh, and then they said that they were going to take a a less political stance for the second season. Yeah. And then all this happened, so I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that was Roseanne's way of trying to get politics back into the show? It, it could be. She, well, I don't know. This is this is just how she is. It's yeah. not like it's the first time. It was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> uh, it is kind of a bummer because that's putting a lot of people out of work. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. And these are all people that like aren't doing a lot of stuff. Like Their biggest roles was the first Roseanne. You know, mm-hmm. besides John Goodman, obviously. Yeah. So I'm sure they were all pretty happy to be back and doing something that they liked and enjoyed. And then now it's gone. Like, And it, it happened quickly. Like she did the tweets and then she, she, I think it was like shortly after she apologized and said, oh, I'm deleting my Twitter. And then uh, Wanda Sykes was like a consultant on the thing. And she's like, uh, I quit. And then, like an hour after that, NBC's like, "We're cutting it." Yeah, it, it, it went down real quick. I was, I was surprised. Do you think anyone else is going to pick it up? Or do you think it's just dead? Um, I don't. No, not not unless it's like Fox and Friends or something. <laughs> Fox and Friends. No, I I don't think so. 
I, yeah, the, that would be a, an interesting segment just to have like a 10 minute spot on Fox I was going to say, it, it becomes like a skit on like uh, Sean Hannity's show. <laughs> I don't even know if he still does his show anymore. <laughs> well, speaking of things that got canceled, this happened yes. a couple weeks ago, but we never talked about it. It's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay. Yes. What's your opinion about that? Uh, that one kind of surprised me. Um, especially, I guess, the reasoning behind it was they're trying to make room for Thursday night football. Oh, which, really? That's what, that's what they say. Yeah. Because, <clears throat> show, okay, so there was like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and New Girl and Last Man on Earth and The Mick. Yeah. They were all their you know Thursday lineup. For whatever reason, Thursday is like the big show uh-huh. night, you know? Yeah. For, I don't know why that was... But whatever. Well, I think Friday generally people go out. Well, I know Friday is is where you put shows. What they say, put shows to die. Yeah. But like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I, like what's I don't know. Because well, anyways, <clears throat> so my theory on that is that since Friday is the day you go out, Thursday is kind of the day before. Like the your your week is almost wrapping up. Friday doesn't really matter if work wise. You're like half checked out anyway, so you can stay up later and watch TV to get ready yeah. to go out. Like it's kind of your, everything's wrapping up. So you, you, you have more. Oh, that makes sense. Um, but anyways, they said they were making room cause NBC or not. Sorry. Fox is getting Thursday night football this season. So they were making room, but why not just move it to a different day? Like that just seems like a dumb excuse. Yeah. Uh, I was I was surprised because I I know that I guess it wasn't doing very well like viewer wise, but mm-hmm. it's got like a big following and it's I, I I felt like it's been you know pretty consistently good. So yeah, well, surprised it, by that. It's been getting worse. It seems like every season the quality has gone down. And you think so? Uh, yeah, this last season I think was I mean it was good. It's still fun, but it, it wasn't nearly as good as it used to be. Um, I, there, there may have been a slight decline, but I don't know. Not, I wouldn't, not enough to warrant a cancellation. Yeah. I think, but well, like I said, it doesn't matter how good your show's doing. I mean, look at Arrested Development when it was canceled. That show was one of the funniest shows that I've ever seen. It, it just didn't have the viewership. Yeah. That's what matters to them. Well, that, well, that was my next point was Fox is really bad about promoting their good shows. Yeah, they are really bad at that. Do you ever see um, David Cross's rant on the set of uh, Arrested Development, where he just goes off and make, uh-uh. he's getting—I think he's getting the blue makeup on or something—and he's just standing in uh, the hallway and he's just like yelling about how Fox isn't promoting them and how this is like Was the this best from show. the original run. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, like no, the, I didn't see that. I want to say the whole cl- crew applauds him for it. Yeah. But that sounds like one of those uh, that happened moments. <laughs> yeah. And everyone stood and cheered me. <laughs> um, but that's uh, Arrested Development's coming back. Fifth season. Yeah, it came back today. Oh, is it back on now already? Uh, the first half. I guess they're releasing it in parts. Oh, okay. I saw the trailer so, today. I didn't realize it was coming out today. I, I saw that there was a trailer and I decided to not watch it. Yeah. Uh, I want to go into it fresh, but also... Did you hear that they, or see that they kind of re-edited season four? I don't know if we talked about that. No, I didn't know that. I didn't, we haven't talked about so that. So season four, they kind it's of went awful. differently, right? They did it, hated it by like character episodes. Yeah. So I guess they re-edited it and re-released it more like the traditional show, right? Where, like in a linear fashion. Yeah. And supposedly it's it's a lot better. Yeah. Well, that I, I hate it. Did you like uh, season four when it came out? I didn't. I didn't hate it, but I was a little disappointed. I did not. It enjoy had its it. it had its moments, but I was I was bummed. I didn't feel the the magic. Part of the reason is I was so so excited for it to come back. Yeah, it, like you know, like you were saying, it was one of your favorite shows you had ever seen. That was the same for me. I loved the first three seasons of Arrested Development. All right, so yes, I I I was a little disappointed, but not enough to make me think like eh, I won't be watching it anymore. You know. Yeah. Um, and then so much time went in between this season. Cause when did the season four come out? Wasn't it like 2015? 
Something like that. Like it's it been a it's good been a while f- ago. A few years, yeah. I remember thinking I I I wasn't even sure if they were going to do it again, and I'd kind of forgotten about it until they said, "Oh, it's coming out like this month," and I was cut off guard. I I had no idea that they were still going. Yeah, I didn't think it was coming back. I thought it was going to come back for a movie and be the end of it. Yeah. But I, I um especially be go ahead. I hope the this fifth season is going to be good. Um it has kind of turned it but like I don't know. <laughs> when community came back on, it just went downhill. Like as soon as the Well, you know, that's going to happen when your <laughs> network is Yahoo. <laughs> but uh Arrested Development season 4 going on to Netflix, it got pretty bad. Yeah. And uh I was thinking with Brooklyn Nine-Nine getting back to that, the uh it going from Fox to NBC it reminds it kind of feels me like it... of yeah, Scrubs. I think they went to oh, okay. ABC. Yeah. Right? They went from NBC to ABC. And it got real bad. I don't know if you ever watched that, but the last two seasons of Scrubs were like not very good. Um, I wasn't a consistent watcher, and I don't think I watched the last couple seasons. I know, I f- I feel like a show like Brooklyn Nine Nine kind of belongs on NBC, anyways. Like it feels like that. It's like like I think we were talking about this before. It's freaking. It's got Michael Schur is the creator. Mm-hmm. He did Parks and Rec and The Office and The Good Place, and right? it's like that. And yeah, and the good place. That's right. And it's that workplace type comedy. Yeah, you know, it feels like it, like it like it should be an NBC show. Yeah, I guess they passed on it originally. Uh, you know, when he first pitched it. Yeah, and then Fox picked it up, and then whoever it was made that decision was like he said he like immediately regretted it and <laughs> regretted like every season he saw it on Fox. It. It's a pretty solid show. I saw something on Reddit where they um, they posted some of the promotional material from NBC, and they said, finally, like NBC gets it. They've posted uh, Scully and what's the Hitchcock. Other Hitchcock on the promotional stuff because uh-huh. that whole ensemble, everybody's important. All of them, yeah. you know, they all are Absolutely. Tr- treated with um, – Dignity is not the right word. I don't know if I would say they are treated with dignity, but they're all the characters are respected. Like from they the all writers. equally matter. Yeah, exactly. Like honestly, Jake seems to be the least important episode to episode. You think so? Yeah, I I do. Like I feel like they yeah, like I, I all the like other characters. He has way kind more. of taken a back seat. Like they used him as kind of the 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 starting point, point. Mm-hmm. and then yeah, it, you're right. It is more of a it's a good blend. Yeah. Like they wrote, they rotate who's the stories are about, but it's not just like, you know, Jake's show or, uh, you could have an episode where Jake's not even in it and probably not even realize it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd right. That I mean, didn't they do that? They might've done it. And I didn't <laughs> even realize it. <laughs> I, I think they did when he was like in prison or in hiding or something along those lines. I yeah. They might've, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know. I hope it's good. I really like the show. I hope it gets better. Uh, I'm just worried that it's going to get worse. Uh, I don't think it'll get worse. I think if anything, it'll probably stay consistent yeah. to what it is now. But who knows? I don't know. Who knows? NBC might be willing to, I don't know, sink more money. Not necessarily sink money, but put more money into it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You uh, you're gonna go see Solo this week, right? I'm I'm gonna go see it in three days. What's your uh, why are you waiting so long? Um, r- best first opportunity, really. Best first opportunity. For first opportunity that is the best. Yes, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. First best opportunity. It's either or. First opportunity that is also the best. It'd be the first good opportunity. Nope, the best good first opportunity. <laughs> they, but they're they're not they're not the same thing. They just happen to to line up. That they way. they coincide. Yes. <laughs> what's your uh, 
How do you feel about it? Are you excited? Are you? What are you? I'm I'm at a crossroads because I'm not excited whatsoever. Yeah. Um, I want to like it. I want it to be good, obviously, and I am trying my hardest to like try to go into it with like an open mind uh-huh. and not go into it like already not expecting much from it and being like overly critical. Yeah. Uh, but I'm finding that very difficult, even just thinking about it. <laughs> I uh I saw it yesterday. I saw it last night, and uh, I I I almost didn't even go see it. I didn't have really any intention to see it. I didn't care about it. Wasn't yeah. looking forward to it. And it, I mean, as soon as I heard that it was coming out, I was like, "Oh, this is dumb. This doesn't need to be made." Yep. Uh, exactly. That was my first thought: is why. And after seeing the movie, it hasn't changed my opinion that much. <laughs> <laughs> so is it is it better worse or exactly what you thought it was gonna be i was exactly whelmed watching the movie yeah it yeah. was very whelming yeah it, it wasn't that's that's my thoughts on it like if if you're say you're showing someone all the movies you know like you want to you yeah. want them to experience you could skip over this one and it not matter yeah, see, that's that's the way I feel about Rogue One. Watch your mouth. I and it's so weird that you enjoy that movie so much. <laughs> I it completely boggles my mind. I don't enjoy it so much. I just it's, enjoy you've it. Said the most. multiple times, it is your favorite one, and you love it. Yeah, it's my. <laughs> I don't love it. It's my favorite <laughs> Star Wars movie. Ah, uh, I don't know. But that it's, doesn't mean uh, it, I love it so much. That's not a fair representation. You adore it. <laughs> I don't adore anything, all right? Don't go putting words in my mouth. Do you think it would have been better, worse, or or no different had it been Phil Miller and uh, Christopher Lord as directors instead of Ron Howard? Because um, they, they were the original directors and they got booted. Yeah. I. Hmm. It's hard to say. I think it would have been better if it wasn't Disney. Oh, so it's Disney's fault? I think so. I I don't know for sure. But because what you think that there's like restrictions on what they can and can't do? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think why well, more than restrictions, I think there's requirements of what they need to do. Oh. And that's uh, upsetting. So it it it's similar to um Edgar Wright in Ant Man. Where yeah. it's like, we we need you to do this, we need you to do that, and he's like, no, no, that's not the story I want to tell, and then they left, or he left, I think. Yep. Yeah, and they had creative differences. Uh, yeah. I like Phil Miller and Christopher Lord, mm-hmm. so I was pretty bummed. Uh, I was that was one when I found out that they were doing it. I was like, well, I'm not excited for this, but I feel like they could probably do something pretty good. Yeah. Or in, at least entertaining. And then once I heard that they got cut, I was like, yeah. I have no desire now. Well, and well, nothing against Ron Howard, but I it's don't know. He, feel like he doesn't fit in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. What is, remind me what uh, Lord and Miller have done. Uh, they did the Lego movie. Okay. They did. That's all, that's all <laughs> I can think of right now. So they did the show Last Man on Earth, which I really like or liked. That yeah. also got canceled. If, uh, if Solo felt more like the Lego movie, it would have been better. The, um, I think yeah. the the jokes in the Lego movie are, um, are are really, really well done. I uh, I think I, I think I just it's edited to a, say that's something you could have. I'm totally messing these dudes' names. It's Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. Yeah. I don't know. I just know him Lord and Miller. That's how I. Uh, they me. did twenty. No, I'm. I got it right here. Hold on. So they did twenty two Jump Street. They did the Lego movie. They only did the uh, second one? They did tw- No, they did 21 Jump Street. Sorry, I'm going backwards. Uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Uh, and then some TV show episode. They did a little bit of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, see, all these things. I mean, they're relatively new. All these things are yeah. are witty and have solid oh, very jokes. Much. And that's not, Solo does not. All the jokes in Solo yeah. make you cringe really, really hard. 
Hmm. Uh, that's that's a bummer. And another thing too is I, I I get really bothered by all this like love for Lando, which I've always or I've never liked him as a character. Mm. So yeah, I was that's not going to change. Not the least, not the least bit excited <laughs> that he we're going to get to see more of him. Yeah, I just ugh. so here's this is another thing that happens. Uh, people love Donald Glover, right? Like he's who's great. I enjoy in, Donald Glover in uh, Community, in uh, like everything he does. Yeah, great. Uh, he's not himself in this at all. He's not. Oh, I did. I I couldn't imagine he would be. Yeah, but I mean, like there, it doesn't make any sense why they even hired him. They don't use. It seems to be any of his talent in this movie. Well, who knows what the original direction for him was? Because I'm yeah. pretty sure he was cast before Ron Howard. So, well, they, they s- might have had something in mind. I don't know. They say the issue is they were doing a lot of improv, and that it was oh, not really? not keeping uh, like consistent with the story. The improv was all over yeah. the place, and it was just a giant mess. So they they're like, ah, we gotta we gotta <laughs> switch this out. I guess there was a a snowball fight right after somebody died, <laughs> and uh, it oh, tonally was very very, <laughs> very uh, confused. Oh wow! But uh, yeah, um, I do have one question. Hmm. How was Woody Harrelson? <laughs> is he is he too big? To be in Star Wars? No. No, I, I wouldn't say that. He he was my favorite and least favorite character, I think. Yep, that makes all the sense I need. <laughs> he uh when he's talking, like he he was a better Han Solo than the guy who played Han Solo. Oh really? Yeah. And hmm. my problem uh finger tricks, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it'll, you'll, it'll make sense. Tricks, it'll make sense to you when uh, you watch the movie, but it, it's just excessive, and it doesn't. That's, doesn't to be honest, sense. that's really the only thing that I'm kind of like looking forward to was his role. But I was afraid, like I said, that he wouldn't be believable in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, no, he's he's good. I mean, I I like Woody Har- 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 Harrelson in almost everything. Um, oh, I, yeah, I love Woody Harrelson. But uh, yeah, no, he's the finger tricks are a bit much. It's a it's a <laughs> dumb a dumb thing to complain yeah. about, but it gets real old real quick. I believe it. Now on to some other news. Ooh. Not quite a cancellation, but I just read some news You're about the Walking the Dead today. Oh I'm yeah, <laughs> canceling. Did you see the Walking Dead stuff? Yeah, Andrew Lincoln's leaving, right? Yeah, so he is going to have a reduced role in season nine which is a bizarre that's way too many seasons yeah uh but as is uh maggie and also no i think that was it oh that's right spoiler alert just in case uh so is carl he's gonna have zero episodes (laughs) because they killed him off did he die yeah oh i thought you knew that (laughs) No, well, so we yeah, we talked. I thought we talked about that. We we talked. You told me he got bit, and then it was like a season finale or mid season break or something like that. I never knew what happened afterwards. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. They didn't try to hide him under a dumpster, which was good, I guess. <laughs> the whole show has gotten so uh, not great. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been like that for some time now. Yeah. But the fact that the main character's leaving, and I don't know, it, it, they really need to just end it. Uh, if they try to make it go further, I, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Can it? I mean, I, I quit oh, three seasons oh, yes. ago, and it was getting pretty bad. Um. Yes, it can. And here's my problem. So do you watch Fear the Walking Dead? No. Okay. That had a lot of potential. And then they made a move this last season, right? The The Walking Dead or behind the scenes. So 
Scott Gimple, he was the showrunner for Walking Dead for the last three seasons, right? Yeah, he's super annoying. He was one. He was one behind the Glenn garbage and all that stuff. Yeah, and I mean, it was it was getting very bad. Like fans were very vocal about him ruining the show, so they remove him from the show as like a demotion. But then they put him in charge of Fear of the Walking Dead for this current season. Yeah. And you can definitely see his hands all over it, and it's bad. <laughs> was it he, good? Uh, before that? I watched the first season, and it was... The first season was really slow. The yeah, second season picked I'd... up, and then the third season had a lot. I thought the third season was really good, mm-hmm. and it ended on a pretty good note. And then he took over for season four. And well, they didn't just one of the characters cross over. So yeah, so they've crossed over Morgan uh, from The Walking Dead. So there's another character who's not going to be in Walking Dead anymore. So he walked um, from Georgia to California. No, they are currently in Texas. So he walked from Georgia also, to Texas. The show, the show uh, Walking Dead. I'm pretty sure they're like in Virginia. Which I'm not sure how close Virginia and Texas are, but it's still a journey for sure. Yeah, especially on foot, especially when there's zombies trying to eat your brains. Uh, but he's got a stick, so it's okay. Also, wasn't Fear the Walking Dead when it started season one? That was day zero. When Walking Dead started, pretty much that was day thirty. But Walking Dead had eight seasons. So before. there's a a pretty significant time jump in between the current season and last season. Okay. Which I'm guessing they pretty much did just to catch up enough for Morgan to like for it to make sense. Yeah. That's good. As much as it can make sense. That's the best uh, way I, to I tell stories. Yeah. It's just um, time jumps. I don't know. It's just it's it's going downhill. They they've got some good characters. They introduced a couple new characters this season, which I felt are pretty good. Yeah, but like I said, you could feel this dude's hands all over it, and it's declining rapidly. Sounds creepy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't anticipate <clears throat> Walking Dead being around much longer. No, not after this. Well, the last thing before we wrap this up today is the thirtieth. Which means... Uh, for you. Speak for yourself. Oh, that's true. Uh, the month is almost over. and Just about. I am still one vote behind. Let's keep it like that. So... I should probably start thinking of a movie for you to watch. <laughs> if I don't... If I don't get any more votes in the next two days, then I am going to have to pay the punishment. I feel like you got something lined up. I don't. I, really, I feel like really you're not going to let this happen again. Uh, I I honestly have nothing up my sleeve, unfortunately. Um, Fortunately. <laughs> so if you want to help me not pay the punishment, you can go over to patreon.com uh, slash I seen that. And for a dollar, you can vote for me, Alan. And if I get more votes than Taylor, I don't have to pay the punishment this month. Finally. It's been uh, years. <laughs> it's been a long time, and uh, it's not a lot of fun. So if you'd like to see Taylor suffer it, which I definitely would, you can help me out by yeah. doing, going over there. Or you can uh, follow us on Twitter at Pod, like us on Facebook, and we will be back uh, in a couple of days.